Hello everyone, the Claws here, and today guys, I'm going to review a new Hero Factory combiner model released in 2012 as part of the first wave of the year called Breakout. And today I'm going to review the combiner model between Breeze and Sunwax. So, let's first begin with the body frame, which is in fact the same as Breeze because we're going to use the wide one, and as you can see on the back, we are going to use a 1.0 foot. And on the front, same as Breeze, we're going to use our body armor, so well, for now it's quite simple. We're going to lengthen the rear legs, which are also pretty simple because it's just two bones and then a piece of armor and some spikes at the end. Of course, the legs are symmetrical, so it's the same on both sides, as you can see. Now it's time to move on with the front legs, which are a little more complicated, so if they use, once again, two bones, and as you can see, um, two bones and the world jaws tusk and for the armor you got a wide one and a small one plus the new uh, circular one so the rounded shaped one and as you can see on the wide one we're going to, to have the rocket and the hose pipe directly put in uh, in it going to link that on the side excuse me i'm going to put that back on place uh, later on just have to be more and as you can see, I'm going to link now the hose pipe on the two holes of the armor, on the body armor, excuse me. So here we go, and it looks like that. Now we are nearly done, I just have to link two elements. So the first one will be the tail right there with four parts of, uh, well, four bones, as you can see and big armors used right there, and at the end you have the little spike right here. I'm going to put this part like that, try to pause the model right now. Excuse me. And finally, uh, the head, which will be uh, quite simple because this is a Sunwax head on another bone. And the Zamor sphere. So let me just adjust my webcam and also the model, by the way, because it looks quite a uh, little weird right there. So, yes, let me just put in. Nicely, oh, that's not really that. Excuse me. Here we go. So, that said, I'm going to do a little turnaround first. And then I will talk about the articulations. This was me, guys, for this little. <laughs> I don't really know, I was kind of uh, a little tired today. So, yes, another uh, articulation. So, first, the shoulders, if you can say so, which are pretty free because, well, you can turn them up to this point. The host pipe will just follow the range of articulations. So, no big problems at all. It works just well. Then you have the uh, elbows, if I can say so, which can turn a little less than 90 degrees right there. And also here, if you want to put them uh, like that for example. So yeah, it works okay. Then you have the arms which block at this point, but apart from that, it's pretty free. Then you have the rear legs, which uh, are quite horrendous because they block really easily on the big armor right there. So this means you can't really turn the thing you, the way you want to make the pose you want. But apart from that, on the knees, um, um, excuse me guys, you can turn this uh, up to this point because there is no armor. So it's really uh, great in terms of articulation. And the same goes for this armor, which is just put on a free ball jump. So this means you can turn this thing up to 360 degrees, which is way you are. Well, excellent. Then you have the tail. So you have one, two, three, four point of rotation. So just up, down, and also on the side if you want. So for example, like that. And then a free ball jump at the end. For the head, 
you have two free ball joints which allows you to move it on the sides or down and up without any big problems as you can see so now i'm going to try to make a little pose which is quite hard with this model it seems or maybe i'm just not that uh, skilled for pose with this combien model i don't really know so excuse me if you see my arms right there and i think we are nearly done just need to adjust this thing because yeah remember that i'm not at my uh, at a, i am at a friend's house right now so i can't really do a the things I want with a white background. And I think it will be all for this model. So now it's time to do a little sum up. So first, the color shape. The color shape is all white. Uh, the only problems for me is the new type of light blue, which is a little out of place. And the same could be said for the red on the back. So in fact, it would have been better if it was just black and lime green. Then you have the building, which is not really that interesting because uh, in comparison to the previous uh, combiner models we have already reviewed, this one is really not that hard to build. There is nothing interesting for the body frame, so yeah, the uh, building, the construction itself is not interesting at all for this uh, combiner model. Then you have the articulations, which uh, works quite okay. The only problem might be, might be excuse me, uh, the elbows, which turns up to 90 degrees, a little less, in fact, and also the articulations on the back for the legs which blocks really quickly uh, because of the big armors, as you can see right there. So uh, then you also have, uh, well, so the sound for the articulation is okay, but not that excellent. Still have some major problems, which uh, prevent you to make all the poses you want. And of course, that's always a problem. Then you have the, well, the sum up, the, the overall design of the set, if it looks good or not. Well, for me, I kind of like the contrast between the thin uh, legs on the back and the big bulky legs on the front. Well, so, of course, some people might just find the legs here uh, armorless and just, uh, well, uh, ridiculous. But for me, I kind of like this contrast and I like the type of shape the tail has because of the big armors used. But that's just me. So in fact, if you want an opinion, it's an okay model once again. It's decent. It's still not excellent or original in terms of construction. So yes, it's okay. It's up to you if you want to build it or not. But personally, it's not really the type of model that I would recommend to build because, well, it's not that perfect. It's just okay. And once again, it is pretty forgettable, which is really a shame because I'm sure Lego could do better things with this combiner model. But at least we got them. So, well, at least that's that. So that's it, excuse me. So that said, I think that's all for this for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them. I will happily answer them as usual. And that said, well, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you later for another video review. Bye bye.